The deck guy's coming, so we've got some deck cleaning to do before he gets here. Look at little Mia go. Mia's determined. I can't stay here. <laughs> Maybe I'll start on this area. I'm going to need a shower. Man, pulling that tree out was a lot of hard work, but eventually I got it. Tell me about how much hard work it was for you. I pulled it right out of there. With a little help from me. Well, you loosened it up a little bit, but who pulled it out of the ground? All me. Well, I pulled it, but Mia loosened it up for me. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> My big muscles. <laughs> That guy's here, right on the deck. <laughs> oh, gee, that's too sad. Oh, that is just too sad. She's eating the crumbs from last night. <laughs> Our garden has expanded. Yeah. This basil is enormous. And then this is the basil that Mia cut from this one, put in water so it grew roots, and then she put it in this one. Hey Mia, let's see you. Let's see you. You're cute. Pizza time. Pizza time. Second time getting pizza since March. That's crazy for us. Would you care for some pizza, yard dinosaur? I'm just kidding. You can't have any of our pizza. Pizza's not for yard dinosaurs. Uh-huh. Take that, pizza. <laughs> we were fatties. Mm -hmm. We both had four pieces. <laughs> I don't regret it. No, I don't either. Five bucks says, it's almost nine o'clock, if I go out here, Luchi's gonna be right in the corner, like looking out from the wall where Mia's office is. <laughs> Hi, Mooch. Ah, oh, Mooch. You got two minutes, Mooch. <laughs> You'd like some fancy feast? And Mia, she's all set. <laughs> Let's go, Mia. Tell her to hurry up, Moochie. We just got a comment on vlog number 70 from 2011, March of 2011, asking about, I guess I was supposed to have been sent some footage from the job I was doing, or a link to it, and of course never got it, evidently. My memory is not very good now beyond what is actually in the video. I want to say that I had done some video for whoever had hired me with, it was some girl who was famous, I want to call her Nikki Hilton, Paris Hilton's sister. I don't remember now. The only memory I have is the girl was very friendly. And like sometimes when when the girl or person in question is is like very famous, they're not really very friendly to like the help or, you know, the people that are kind of there to do interviews or whatever it is I was doing, but she was very nice. That's that's about all I remember. 
I think it was Nikki Hilton, but I don't know. I don't remember what it was for, what was filmed. I think I did take both video and photos. Was it for like a teen magazine? I don't know. I have no memory of it. That's a shame. Now I'm curious to see what it actually, <laughs> what it actually was, because I don't remember. Obviously, it's a lot easier to remember things that are actually on video, because you can watch them again and again, but now from back in 2011, I don't really remember a whole lot from that day that wasn't in the video. During that job, I did take this photo, which I do love. That was taken from Hollywood Tower. The tower was built in 1929, and evidently it was the inspiration for Disney's Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. I think this is where I filmed that interview or whatever it was, but I went to a lot of places that day. I don't really remember now. I would kind of like to have this photo enlarged and, and hang it somewhere. It's very pretty. All oh, the fuzzballs are so cute. They're snuggling in their little fuzzball bed. <laughs> See, I thought it was time for some cake. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea. Seemed like a, what is it? Uh, chocolate fudge and you're gonna do coconut? Yeah, I'm gonna make my own frosting and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make a coconut frosting. Ooh. Where's the cake? Yeah. Already? Uh -huh. Wow, that was fast. Yeah. Speaking of California, somebody had asked if they missed the reason why we left California. And I was thinking I could do like a quick response in this video. And then, like, the more I'm thinking about it, like, that, that, that's not really a quick response. I mean, we did start this channel to document us getting out of California, which took from 2010 to 2018, during which time I think we. We really covered a lot of reasons. It's not, there wasn't a reason. Um, Maya, since you're here, and Jerry, <laughs> did anybody want to add anything to leaving California? Why don't you make a playlist? Oh man. I, it, like the top video is explaining why we want to leave California. Make a nice, nice playlist, that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many videos would yeah, exactly. How many videos are there? How long would it take for you to repeat everything in those videos? <laughs> what about all the things that n never even made it onto video, though? I mean, I, in all the years, I'm not sure we really did justice. <laughs> While at the same time, like, I, I, I don't know, I didn't want that to be all the channel was about, but I mean, a lot of it did get in. I, I don't know. I'm, uh, like at the same time, I don't want to discourage anybody from moving to California, because obviously a lot of people do love it there. So um, I don't know. That's, that's a tricky thing to respond to. But we're done with it. We we are done. We left. We don't ever look back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll go back for more for Con eventually. It was so much more than just our neighborhood. No, that was just the thing that impacted us most directly on a daily basis. Yeah. If, if you are somebody that might be a good fit for California, I would definitely suggest going there, spending some time there, figuring out if it's right for you, figuring out like, what could you afford in California? Where could you afford? You know, what is it that you, what is important to you? Oh, isn't that sweet? Moochie's a California cat. Moochie, do you miss it? <laughs> Won't stop bugging me. Here, here, treat. Is this what you want? I'm trying to talk. Here, eat the thing. Here you go. Good boy. Okay, can you leave me alone now? I'm trying to vlog here. Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, I guess you guys will tell me. Do we still have a lot of people wondering why we left California? Or did I sufficiently exhaust it while we were living there? Because that, that question does come up every so often, so... Moochie. You are so early. Mochi. I told her. What time is it? It's 8 o'clock. Mochi. It's not, it's not, it's not even 8 o'clock. It's 7.58. No, Mochi. It's not time yet. Mochi. Look at the cat clock. What time does the cat clock say? 
Ah, I missed the sunset tonight. It looked like it was just going to be kind of a cloudy blue sky. Ooh, fireflies. Ah, so then I'm on Facebook and I see people in our Pennsylvania local group posting sunset photos. It was unbelievable. Oh. I think I just found aliens, though. Alien spaceship confirmed. Anyway, you see how, like, the clouds kind of have, like, this pink outline? Imagine that, like, times a zillion. It was... Oh, I'm so mad I missed this. Did you see the sunset? I wasn't talking to you, Mochi. Are you ready for your fancy fist, Mochi? <laughs> fancy, 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 fancy. <laughs> Our Totally Not Friends intro was like the star of uh, the previous vlog. <laughs> How come that was the vlog everybody noticed it? We've had it for years. Uh, I think we were still living in California when I made that. Uh, we've used it recently, too. Like, within, you know, since I've been more frequently vlogging, it's, it's been in a bunch of videos even uh, in the last week or two or so. I don't use it all the time, just because I figure if it was like in every video, people get sick of it. There are actually a lot of different versions of it, too. Uh, for a while, I used to change the... Uh, after, like, Bruno, Mia, Jerry, Mittens, and Moochie, then the clips that follow that would be different. I would alternate them. So there are actually a bunch of different variants of that intro, too. I mean, I'm glad people noticed, but it's it's not new. What is it, Mittens? What is it, Mittens? What? What is it, Mittens? What is it? What is it, Mittens? You see me vlogging here. You see me vlogging here. Go bother Mia. Good boy. All right, I should probably wrap up here. I kind of feel like, um... Whenever that Power Ranger Beast Morphers uh, special they're doing, whenever that happens, I feel like if there were to be um, Goldar, like if he were to be in it and like look different, I kind of feel like there'd be all these people that'd be like, what happened to Goldar? But then I also kind of feel like it would be explained in that episode, so definitely check out whatever episode that might be if uh, Goldar were to make a, an appearance. Like, um, yeah, he would, he would probably look different and sound different and... It would probably be explained within the episode. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, stuff like that were to happen. So, um, mm -hmm. and then I'd also kind of be surprised by the confusion at the way Goldar could potentially look, uh, because there was a Super Sentai counterpart that aired many years ago and has, uh, <laughs> been fairly easily viewable for many years. So... It would just be strange if there were Power Ranger fans out there that managed to avoid that all these years. And I also kind of feel like if they were doing whatever kind of a special for Beast Morphers, and like maybe it spilled over to like, I don't know, a bunch of different episodes, by the time they were all done, you'd be wondering like why Super Mega Force couldn't have done it like that. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I have no idea what they're doing. You know, I've just eaten a lot of these tonight, so it just makes me say strange things. Alright, I'm going to end here. Thank you guys for watching. Good night.